Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back. I am David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to explain a C program. So, we will do together, we will write together this little but important C program that is equal and adjacent elements this program calculates the number of pairs of equal adjacent elements in an array so let's do together using code blocks that is an open source cross platform ide so let's click in create a new project console application Next, uh, C, project title, uh, we call it equal dash adjacent dash element equal adjacent elements. Ok, next, so compiler new GCC compiler finish ok so we can click inside this folder and uh, on this main.c we can zoom the text so hashtag include between angle brackets stdio that is the input output uh, library hashtag include uh, between angle brackets the standard library ok so we need to define a constant so hashtag define n5 and then we can delete this line in return 0 is exit underscore success and we can uh, start with the variables so we need the int variable v and that is uh, our array that is composed by one one two three and three and uh, semicolon at the end then we need another variable i and another variable n so i and n are two integer variables so n that is equal to zero at the beginning and then we need we need a for loop so for i that is equal to zero semicolon i less than n semicolon i plus plus inside curly brackets we need to write printf between parentheses uh, between quotation marks percent d because it is an integer and then vi that is our uh, our um, array semicolon for another for loop for i that is equal to zero semicolon i less than n minus one semicolon i plus plus between bracket we need a if if v of i is equal equal v of i plus one that is the adjacent element the next element we need to increment n so we can print f so we can write on the screen backslash n because we want a new line pairs of equal adjacent elements pairs of equal adjacent elements 
is the percent d because it is an integer comma n semicolon and then return success so we have include std io.h include std lib.h define m5 inside the main function int vn that is equal to uh, between uh, we write these numbers between the curly braces, brackets so we do the semicolon at the end one one two three and we write here three int i n so we have two integer variables n is equal to zero for i that is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus print s percent d v o i of i for i is equal to zero i minus than n minus one i plus plus if v of i is equal equal to v of i plus one then so uh, write n plus plus and at the end print f pairs of equal adjacent elements equals two percent d because it is an integer and this integer is n and then at the end return exit success so we can try we can click here build and run exit okay oh one one two three three pairs so of equal adjacent elements is two okay because we have the first pair and the second pair of equal numbers but we can try for the for example to change one one two three four pairs of equal adjacent elements is equal to one perfect because we have only one pair one one okay We can change it again in release. One, one, two, three, three pairs of equal adjacent elements is true. Perfect. So we have created this little but important program that calculates the number of pairs of equal adjacent elements in an array. You can find these examples on my website www.david-cortese.com exactly inside the section Software Engineering and in the subsection C Programming. As you can see, there are a lot of examples and you uh, you must exercise every day if you want to become a software engineer. Inside my uh, website uh, you can chat with me, you can find the chat for uh, writing me a message, you need only an um, email. Uh, you can write what, uh, what you want and uh, dear friend, your donation is important, help me update this website and join this community. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye.